Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this video we're going to look at how to create your own product visualization background. Now in another tutorial I went through how to use the light box in Cinema 4D that's available in Visualize and Studio but if you don't happen to own either of those two then hopefully this will be a useful alternative for you. Okay, you can see I've got my scene set up here so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to create something similar. So just file a new and one thing that would be useful to start with is to have something in there that we are going to want to have a product visualization of and I'm going to use a vase in this instance because um, it's got nice shiny materials to it. Okay, the first thing that we are going to want is a disc. Okay, and this is the disc that's going to sit underneath it. Okay, then we're going to create ourselves a nice new material and apply it to the disc so we've got a white material on there but what we're going to want is I'm going to turn off reflectance for the moment uh, you can have reflectance on if you particularly want to and you can add shininess to it um, is go to the alpha map turn on alpha and then add in a gradient but this gradient so by, just by clicking in I want to be circular okay so I want it to go from one color to another but it is the wrong way round so right clicking on the gradient and invert knots and I'm just going to bring that darker area in and you can see from my little experiment here um, my visualization that it's it's disappearing which is quite nice so if I just render that you can see that it doesn't soften out as far as I'd like it to so I'm just going to shrink that a little bit more until it blurs out like that and we look like we've got a spotlight on it which is fine that's what I want um, and then you might want to increase the size of your disk a little bit so that any shadows that we may cast in the future will be captured uh, on this disk. Okay, then I want to create a background. Okay, and this is going to be used in the background to create a nice white texture. So I'm going to create another new material, color, turn off color, turn off reflectance, turn on luminance and I've got a nice white bright color. Put that on the background, I'm just gonna render so you can see what it looks like so far. We've got a nice white background but this nasty gray patch in the middle here. Okay, so what I need to do on my disk, I need to add a tag. So with the object selected, tag, Cinema 4D tag, compositing. And I'm gonna put a tick in the box that says compositing background. So that means it's going to be used to create only the shadows and stuff, but it's going to be able to be seen through like that. Now what I want to do is to get some lighting in there. And to do that, I'm going to add in a sky. And I would make use of Cinema 40's HDR maps. And there is a really useful one actually in there called the Studio. So it looks like a photography studio, which is sort of the point. So it's got several soft boxes and a, a grey background and you can just rotate your way around there so you know that your background is there because if I keep going um, you can see we've got a camera style object and we've got some light soft boxes and that's where the light's going to come from so I'm just going to undo that and then put it back that way we're not going to actually see it and I'm going to add in a tag compositing and I'm going to untick scene by camera because I don't want it to be seen I only want it to produce the light but I'm also going to need to untick scene by transparency because if I render you can see we've got this gray coming through here and that's because the disk is showing the transparency and showing it forward so if I untick scene by transparency and then render there we go we've got our nice sphere here um, background floor here and we're not getting any of those that nasty gray you can see we've also got those little soft boxes appearing in my vase another thing to do is to add in some form of light and that would be a useful target light in this instance because it will always point at the center and I can create some shadows so if I just click area and then render you can see we're getting a nice shadow there and we've got a relatively seamless background. Other things to be aware of is to potentially add in global illumination. 
okay for a bit of realistic lighting and then render you can see it'll take a little bit longer to calculate but hopefully that will give us a much more realistic lighting effect you can see we've got some nice shadows coming in there from the light source you know and you can choose whether or not you do or do not want those to be visible and we've got our reflections on our vase okay i hope that was a useful quick tutorial on how to create your own product visualization background thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk